1000% you'll be very surprised because narcissists do this when they're jealous of you. Listen up everyone. When a narcissist boasts about their devotion to relationships, they actually treat their loved ones as mere possessions. In their twisted worldview, narcissists anticipate unwavering love and adoration from their partners and children, which is inherently flawed. Few grasp the narcissist's insatiable thirst for power and control. First off, I appreciate you tuning in. Let's delve into the concepts of envy and jealousy before we delve into the main feature. Although these terms are often used interchangeably, they hold distinct meanings. Envy isn't the same as jealousy. It's about longing for what others possess. Jealousy stems from a sense of discontentment, desiring to partake in others' fortunes. Narcissists tend to exhibit jealousy due to their selfishness, self-absorption and dissatisfaction with their own lives. They harbour resentment towards their own achievements and harbour a desire to witness others flourish. They perpetually crave more, adept at appropriating success. When plagued by self-doubt and fear of loss, jealousy takes root. In this film, I'll delve into how narcissists often project their own insecurities onto those closest to them. It riles up narcissists when those who boost their ego are preoccupied with other matters. When narcissists perceive a threat to their sources of validation, they can spiral into a frenzy, resorting to any means to safeguard their supply. Even if it means prioritizing the narcissist's desires over your own, fulfilling their wishes can temporarily appease them. Their excessive pride drives them to snatch credit for your accomplishments rather than acknowledge your contributions. Narcissists resort to unsavory tactics to fulfill their desires, initially starting small but quickly escalating as their rage intensifies. Furthermore, narcissistic parents incessantly crave adoration from their children, regardless of their age. Their relentless need to remain the focal point persists, even as their offspring mature and form their own families. Narcissistic mothers, in particular, tend to exhibit demanding and manipulative behaviours, especially towards their children and partners. They will do anything to get back in charge if they think their partner is taking over the relationship. Narcissists believe they are above all else because they created you. Narcissists see other people as things they're in charge of. Anyone you meet, or the selfish family or group you are born into makes you a member of that group or family. They believe that you should always make their life better and be happy for them. They get angry when you put your needs ahead of theirs. Their worry about being alone gets worse when they're left alone. To put it another way, they don't want to risk having their things stolen. Because of how they treat other people, we don't care about their doubt and fear. They think they have power over everyone because they don't know anything about themselves. Narcissists, on the other hand, should not be treated the same way they treat other people because they are not honest. They enjoy it when other people are jealous of them, but they can't stand it when they are jealous. Narcissists would often talk to other people at work and treat you like trash while they did this. They try to make you feel bad about yourself so that you'll hate them, want to be liked by them, and feel bad about them. Narcissists behave badly when they're with other people. People needed to learn about selfish relationships, so this movie was made. They and you keep breaking the rules together. Narcissists try to control the people they say they love, but they do it all the time. When they are young, narcissists start to act love-hungry. You might have thought that their extreme dedication was an unhealthy fixation. They will treat you the same way they always do, but they won't let anyone else get close to you until they're done with you. There's no proof that narcissists care about you, even if they act like they do. They are selfish narcissists who only care about themselves and the things they own temporarily. Let's go over it once more. You are like an extension of the narcissist, 
and they will do anything to make you happy if they think it will make their own lives better. When someone else gets lots of love, care and attention, it makes the other person jealous. It's more important to care about the kids of family and friends than anyone else's. They are angry because they want something, are scared, or don't know what will happen next. I hope this video has helped you in some way. Thanks for watching this video. If you have something to say about this, please enter it below. When we get them, we can't wait to read them. We'll let you know when we post new videos if you click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. No matter what, thank you. Greetings, fantastic viewers. I'm delighted to welcome you back for another enriching discussion. Today, we're delving into a topic that has piqued the curiosity of many, the formidable methods empaths employ when dealing with angry narcissists. Before we unravel these strategies, I want to stress that the advice provided here is tailored for individuals facing emotional abuse in known violent situations. If you find yourself in a perilous or violent circumstance, please seek immediate assistance from medical professionals, the police, or a support worker. Your safety and the safety of your family are our utmost priorities. Now, let's delve into the top 10 strategies empaths can employ to thoroughly frustrate the typical destructive narcissist. Grab a notepad, because I'm breaking down everything you need to know. Before we move on to the next cutting tactic, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for weekly updates filled with valuable tips to enhance your life. Your support holds immense value for us. For our returning viewers, remember to like this video, share it with someone who might benefit from the insights, and let's ignite some engaging conversations in the comments below. Your thoughts and experiences are an invaluable part of our discussions. Now, are you prepared to unveil the formidable methods empaths use to confront narcissists? Let's dive right in. Tactic number one, steer clear of their dramatic episodes. Narcissists thrive on chaos and drama, using others as emotional punching bags. However, what if you refuse to be drawn into their web? By not reacting to their attacks or criticisms, it frustrates them. Maintaining emotional detachment leaves their toxicity with no outlet, making you a less appealing target. Consequently, the narcissist becomes powerless as they cannot control you. It's a victory for you. Tactic number two, disregard their dramatic antics. Have you encountered someone drowning in their own problems and gossip? That's the narcissist's game. They seek attention and control. But what if you display zero interest? By making it evident that their drama doesn't impact you, you diminish their power. Picture their frustration as you continue with your life, unaffected by their attempts to control you. Rendering their problems and influence irrelevant takes away their power. Tactic number three, unmask them publicly. Narcissists excel at manipulation, constructing a facade to conceal their flaws. What if you unveil that mask? If you expose their lies and incompetence to others, it undermines their control. Envision their discomfort when their true nature is laid bare. By highlighting their flaws, you strip away their power and communicate that you won't tolerate their deceit. Tactic number four, unmask their fabrications. Imagine challenging their tales instead of accepting them as truth. By disputing their emotions and narrative, you declare, I see through your lies. This stance communicates that you won't succumb to manipulation and can penetrate their facade. The next time they propagate negativity or attempt to tarnish someone's reputation, challenge their version of events. This disrupts their narrative, leaving them bewildered. Tactic number five, respond with contempt. Picture mirroring their disrespect. Treating narcissists with disdain signifies that you won't be bullied. Refuse to let them undermine your value. Stand unwavering. 
assert your position and make it explicit that you won't tolerate their self-centered behavior. By reciprocating their disrespect, you strip away their capacity to judge or criticize you. It's a potent method to counteract narcissists. Tactic number six, brush off their antics. What if your response involved a laugh or a perplexed look that conveys seriously? Not taking narcissists seriously can strip away their power. When you don't indulge their self-centered ways, you deny them the attention and validation they crave. This sends a clear message that their concocted stories and manipulative ploys hold no sway over you. Observe their reaction when you employ this tactic. If they're spinning intricate tales, they might struggle to cope with it. Tactic number seven, embrace honesty, even in pain. Narcissists often manipulate due to their fragile self-esteem. But what if you confront them with unfiltered truths, even when it stings? Being brutally honest can unveil their true nature. When you present them with straightforward truths, it may be challenging for them to handle. They dislike confronting inconvenient realities, particularly if it deflates their inflated self-image. Summon the courage to express what others might shy away from. Witness their shock as they grapple with the reality of their actions. Tactic number eight, penetrate the facade. Narcissists construct their self-worth on a fictional self-image. What if you saw through their act? What if you recognized how fragile and insignificant they truly are? By unraveling their illusions, you strip away their power. Once they realize you can see through their facade and comprehend the frailty of their false self, the game is over for them. They can no longer feign normalcy. Tactic number nine, indifference as a game changer. Weakening them can be as straightforward as disregarding them. By withholding attention, you deprive them of the ego boost they crave, potentially leaving them frustrated and metaphorically famished. It might not be an effortless path, but the rewards are substantial. Despite the silence, adhering to this approach is crucial. It proves to be a superior alternative to dealing with their attempts at control. Maintain your indifference and observe their diminishing power. Tactic number 10, embrace release and progress. Opting to let go and move on signifies complete detachment. It communicates, I no longer invest in this. You hold no significance for me. This entails redirecting your focus, energy, care, concern, and attention away from them, effectively severing all communication. Understand that this is not merely rhetoric. Recognizing the difficulty of putting it into action is crucial. It is both feasible and, more importantly, imperative for your well-being. I believe this video provided valuable insights for you. If it did, express your support by giving it a thumbs up and sharing the most impactful lesson you gleaned. New to the channel, remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell for weekly updates. For those interested, the description below contains a link to access my free course and additional exclusive benefits. Always hold on to your worth and the path to liberation. Thank you for tuning in, and I eagerly anticipate our next video discussion. Agoraphobia, a complex anxiety disorder, can manifest in peculiar ways when exacerbated by narcissistic abuse. The enduring emotional distress stemming from a selfish relationship can significantly impact mental health, potentially culminating in agoraphobia. This exploration delves into 10 specific traits exhibited by individuals grappling with agoraphobia due to narcissistic abuse. 1. Anxiety in open spaces, on bridges, or in shopping malls. Individuals contending with agoraphobia resulting from narcissistic abuse often experience heightened anxiety in specific settings such as open spaces, bridges, or shopping malls. 
These anxieties are frequently intertwined with distressing events that unfolded in these locations during narcissistic abuse. Open expanses may elicit feelings of exposure and vulnerability, harking back to instances when narcissists preyed on emotional vulnerabilities. Conversely, bridges and shopping areas may be linked to episodes of conflict or manipulation. Therapeutic exploration, geared towards unraveling these associations, aids individuals in confronting and overcoming their fears. A pivotal component of agoraphobia treatment incorporates exposure therapy, wherein individuals systematically confront and navigate their feared environments under therapeutic guidance. This methodical approach gradually diminishes sensitivity to fears, empowering individuals to reassert control over their lives. 2. Fitching or keeping hands in pockets. Individuals grappling with agoraphobia often exhibit visible signs of anxiety, such as keeping their hands in their pockets or fidgeting constantly. These physical manifestations serve as coping mechanisms, providing a means to alleviate the overwhelming stress and discomfort associated with venturing beyond the safety of home. Effective intervention necessitates understanding how these habits function as mechanisms for anxiety management. Therapists collaborate with clients to explore alternative strategies for addressing challenges, empowering individuals to regain a sense of control and tranquility during challenging moments. Mindfulness techniques and grounding exercises offer healthier avenues for managing anxiety enabling individuals to navigate the external world with increased comfort and composure as they confront their inner fears. 3. Reluctance to venture beyond home. Agoraphobia often anchors individuals to the familiar sanctuary of their homes, where they feel the safest. Leaving this comforting haven becomes a daunting task as home symbolizes a refuge from the mental tumult experienced outside. Survivors of narcissistic abuse may harbour fears of stepping beyond their domestic boundaries, viewing their homes as the sole haven of safety. Re-establishing a sense of security beyond home necessitates a gradual and well-planned approach, encompassing exposure therapy and coping mechanisms to address the anxieties accompanying the departure from one's comfort zone. Therapists collaborate with individuals to devise personalized strategies, empowering them to eventually transcend their comfort zones, fostering a regained sense of control over both their living spaces and the broader world. 4. Persistent feeling of threat or danger. Those contending with agoraphobia resulting from narcissistic abuse often experience a constant sense of fear and peril. This heightened apprehension encompasses threats to mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Manipulative tactics employed by narcissists contribute to an ongoing atmosphere of insecurity, giving rise to this trait. Individuals in such relationships engage in a continuous mental struggle, fostering a pervasive feeling of constant danger, even in ostensibly safe situations. Recognizing and addressing potential threats becomes a form of emotional hypervigilance, a survival mechanism for victims. Consequently, finding solace or ease becomes challenging, perpetuating a cycle of fear and anxiety. Acknowledging that this trait is rooted in past suffering is crucial for those seeking to overcome the agoraphobia. Therapy often involves reprogramming the brain's responses to perceived threats, fostering a sense of safety and control over one's environment. 5. Navigating social anxiety in gatherings with loved ones. Individuals grappling with agoraphobia may encounter challenges in their relationships, driven by a fear of attending family or social gatherings. The apprehension of potential conflicts or manipulations might deter them from participating in social events, leading to a sense of isolation and strain on their connections. Those who have experienced narcissistic abuse may harbor discomfort in social settings, 
especially within group dynamics where emotional manipulation becomes more conceivable. Overcoming these fears involves a creative blend of therapeutic approaches aimed at rebuilding trust and enhancing social skills. Therapists guide individuals in exploring and challenging negative beliefs about social interactions, instilling greater confidence in their ability to navigate relationships. Expanding comfort zones entails gradual exposure to smaller social events, coupled with the support of understanding friends and family, fostering a journey towards social reintegration. 6. Unforeseen emotional unravelling in public spaces. The impact of narcissistic abuse can induce significant stress, leading individuals to experience sudden emotional breakdowns in public settings. These occurrences may be triggered by memories or anxieties related to the trauma, turning public spaces into potential battlegrounds of emotional turmoil. To address these breakdowns effectively, understanding their origins is crucial. Therapists collaborate with clients to identify triggers and implement coping strategies. Techniques such as mindfulness and grounding exercises play a vital role by equipping individuals with tools for emotional stability in public environments. Psychotherapy provides a safe haven for processing and releasing emotions, ultimately reducing the frequency and intensity of public breakdowns over time. 7. Profuse sweating during public speaking. Physical manifestations are common in individuals with agoraphobia, particularly excessive sweating, especially when faced with public speaking or being in the spotlight. This heightened physical response reflects the profound anxieties stemming from narcissistic abuse. Narcissistic relationships foster a fear of judgment and scrutiny, triggering the body's stress response and resulting in symptoms such as trembling, sweating, and an accelerated heart rate. Cognitive Behavioral Treatment, CBT, offers an effective approach to alleviating the physical symptoms of agoraphobia. By targeting and reshaping negative thought patterns associated with public speaking, CBT desensitizes individuals to anxiety-inducing stimuli, leading to a reduction in physical symptoms. As confidence in managing public situations grows, individuals regain a sense of empowerment and control over their experiences. 8. Struggling with trust issues. Agoraphobia resulting from narcissistic abuse poses challenges in trusting others, a vital component of fostering healthy relationships. The lingering fear of deception and manipulation hinders individuals from forming new connections and engaging with others. Therapeutic interventions aim to mend trust issues by delving into the root causes, often rooted in past abuse. This involves examining and transforming negative beliefs about others, enhancing discernment, and providing tools to establish healthy boundaries. Building trust is a skill that can be cultivated in the secure environment of group therapy, enabling individuals to forge more meaningful connections over time. Overcoming trust issues requires a combination of time, patience, understanding, and the guidance of mental health professionals. 9. Anxiety in crowded environments. Experiencing abuse at the hands of a narcissist often manifests as social anxiety, a prominent indicator of agoraphobia. The presence of a large crowd can intensify the fear of judgment, scrutiny, and potential manipulation. Individuals haunted by past humiliation and degradation carry emotional wounds that transform public settings into daunting experiences. Those grappling with severe social anxiety may exhibit physical manifestations such as trembling, perspiration, and an accelerated heartbeat. Survivors of narcissistic relationships frequently harbour a fear of negative judgment from others, hindering their ability to engage with people beyond their intimate circles. Therapeutic interventions often involve a gradual exposure to social settings, 
fostering confidence and reshaping perceptions of social interactions. Cognitive behavioural techniques play a pivotal role in challenging and altering the negative thought patterns associated with social anxiety, facilitating a gradual return to social situations. 10. Heightened Environmental Awareness Individuals who have experienced narcissistic abuse may develop an increased sensitivity to their surroundings when grappling with agoraphobia. This heightened self-awareness serves as a defensive mechanism forged in response to the unpredictability of narcissistic relationships, demanding constant vigilance for safety. Therapeutic endeavors aim to restore equilibrium by equipping individuals with discernment tools to distinguish between actual threats and perceived risks. Mindfulness techniques, such as focused breathing and sensory grounding, foster a stronger connection to the present moment, diminishing the hyperawareness stemming from past traumas. Gradual exposure to varied settings, coupled with therapeutic support, empowers individuals to reclaim control over their surroundings. Distinguishing between genuine and imagined threats enables them to navigate the world with enhanced security and reduced pervasive feelings of danger, fostering a path toward recovery from narcissistic trauma. 1000% you'll be very surprised because narcissists do this when they're jealous of you. Listen up, everyone. When a narcissist boasts about their devotion to relationships, they actually treat their 